Hey guys, how's it going these tricks? Um, today I'm going to be bringing you guys another tutorial. So t this tutorial today is going to be how to make a pop-out logo. So the last tutorial was how to make this like an, a logo on AVI, which is like an avatar. And this one's going to be like a pop-out one. So pretty much um, you'll make a part of an image pop out of like the logo. So for example, um, I'm going to be doing this tutorial with the Infa logo because it has, um, it's like pretty good. It's got a stroke layer, a 2D layer, and the 3D layer, which is really good for, um, it makes it really easy to design with. So anyway, um, you want to start off with your um, logo thing, and then um, you want to find an image on the internet. So I just found this like Batman one, um, which I reckon that looks pretty good, and I just put it in the background of the picture. So once you have got your image in the background, you just want to make a duplicate by dragging the logo down to um, the, the new layer um, button. Or you can just press Ctrl J on your keyboard and I'll make a duplicate. So once you've got a duplicate, drag it up above your 2D layer, which this is going to be the 2D layer right here. Because um, you can just tell because it's like inside the stroke and stuff. So this is a 2D layer, so I'm just going to put the logo um, inside the 2D layer. And by doing this, you just want to go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. Or as you can see, you can just press Ctrl, Alt and G on your keyboard. I'm not sure how to do it for Mac, it's probably like, oh, I don't even know the Mac controls or anything because I don't have a Mac. <laughs> but anyway, once you've got that, um, you pretty much want to go back down to this one and make another copy of it, another duplicate, and drag it above the stroke. So this is going to be the, right, that's going to be the stroke here. So you want to drag it above the stroke. And um, now you won't be able to see anything because this image is above everything. So you turn the opacity down a bit so you can see through it. So I can just see the logo and where I need to work around. So anyway, on the, if you have this top layer selected, all you have to do now is pretty much delete whatever you do not want sticking out of the logo. So I do not want um, I do not want this whole bottom bit sticking out of the logo. So I'm just going to select this um, any way you want, and then just press delete, and that will delete it so it's not sticking out of the logo. So I just want these ear, ears sticking out of the logo. So I'm going to delete everything but the ears. So if I just Go rough around the ears here, delete all this, and then um, press delete. I want to delete in here too. So once you've got that all deleted, oh wait, there's one more I have to do this side yet. So just keep deleting everything. So once you have done that, you just want to pretty much turn the opacity back up. And as you can see, the ears are pretty much sticking out of the logo. It was kind of a rush job, as you can see, like, here, yeah, that's a bit messed up. But you can still see that it is like a pop-out logo. There are plenty of tutorials on this, and I'm really bad at explaining things. So this is probably why it sounded a bit weird. It's kind of hard to explain things um, when it's not easy to explain. Um, so if you want, um, you can actually turn this bottom, uh, the main background image, um, the opacity down. And that'll make it, like... The background darker the back bit but then you actually need to finish um deleting on this which is kind of a pain but anyway i reckon that looks pretty cool i'm actually going to get oh no nah, i don't I won't, I won't worry about it but this is pretty much the tutorial um but i am going to put it into magic blue looks and make it look a bit better so i am going to change the text and um a good way of styling your text is to get a nice clean font any font you want I'm just gonna get this nice bold one right here and once you've got your font wait, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller because it's a bit too big so you'll probably make it about 60 or 72 that's pretty good I'm just gonna make it that and go into the layer styling and I do not want a stroke so you want to add a drop shadow turn the opacity up a bit and the size up a bit and then you want to add a color overlay and then just make that kind of like a gray like that one right there and then add an inner glow which is white and it will just make the text look really clean so that that's very clean text right there it's really simple to do and it looks pretty good so i'm just going to save it right now so save it wherever you want to save it and then open it up in magic bullet looks so i've got my magic bullet looks open here so just open it up i don't have the plugin for photoshop so i'm just going to open this right now and um I pretty much done this in my last tutorial, showed you how to um, style it in Magic Ball looks, but I'm just going to do it quickly. So if this actually loads and not responds, okay, oh, it's responding now. So anyway, you've got your presets on this side, I've got heaps of them, and then you've got your 
where you put all your um it's kind of like glaze on photoshop where you put all your things in there and then you've got all the things to put in there it's kind of hard to explain but go to subject and then choose exposure exposure looks good um with most things i guess that looks pretty good just upload a little bit depends really what you like chromatic aberration you can get that if you want it's really that important but i reckon that looks pretty cool because you can it's like that 3d effect okay next one you want to go to diffusion and I'm gonna put um, set that to red, and that kind of just makes it a glow. And then next, I'm going to add uh, this. I'm not sure how you spell that. The V fin. I don't even know. So that pretty much just makes it darker on the outside, which I think that looks pretty nice. Then get this flare, and this is optional. You really don't need it. And then you can just set that to red. Turn the boost, uh, the threshold down. Oh. You're probably best turning the boost down a bit and then turn the size down. It's really up to you, uh, it's your personal preference. And once you've got that, go to haze slash flare. You don't have to do this, this is also optional. So I like making that red and just turning that down a bit. And the last thing you want, you can get lens distortion, but it's up to you whether you want to use the lens distortion. This pretty much makes it uh, bulge in or bulge out like that. So sometimes I like having it bulge in, I reckon that looks pretty cool like that. It really depends what logo you got because sometimes it looks good, sometimes it looks horrible. But I'll just save that right now. Um, and open it. So there it is what we made just then. Um, there are plenty more tutorials if you did not understand this one. But I have got um, another AVI, which is like a logo tutorial as I just did right now. Um, I've got another one that I uploaded like a few days ago. So if you don't want to check that out, there'll be a link to that in the description. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and peace.